So we're back, bitches. Woo! It's been like some time. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. Ugh. Pass over that other one. <laughs> this week it's Omegong Three Philosophers, Philosophers, <laughs> Ale <laughs> because um, because you know, <laughs> it's good. That's why. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome to the second season of our uh, book themed show. Title to be decided. Yes, uh, we've decided to move away from the uh, Fifty Shades of Green moniker, mainly because it was really driving me crazy with the uh, Google alerts I had, <laughs> where it'd be things for like gardening. So it's it's been a while. We had an interesting year yeah. watching Awoken leave the nest, mm -hmm. and uh, so now it's time for season two because obviously this being young adult paranormal romance. You gotta have a, 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 a yeah a trilogy. It's a trilogy, obviously. It's a trilogy. But you know, since we you know we spent so much time last season, like coming up with our gimmick and you know talking about like who the characters were. Obviously, this season it's not going to be that so much mm -hmm. because we already know who the characters are. And while we do, of course, need a plot, um, you know, we, we know what our gimmick is and all that. So yeah. this season we're going to expand the reach mm -hmm. of this show and this channel. Uh, once we decide what it's called. And that's where you come in. It's not laziness. <laughs> it's not our uh, complete dearth of creativity. <laughs> it's, it's just because we love your suggestions. Yeah. And it's just more fun than bringing the kids into play. <laughs> yeah, since we figured like the show was always intended to be interactive. When we came up with the title, it was inspired by Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm-hmm. And uh, now it's kind of turned into, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey knockoff slash parody number 9,007,365. So, um, and it's also moved away because we initially thought it was going to be more along the lines of a Fifty Shades parody and it did not turn out to be that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we need to, we need to move away. Yeah, so it's, it's, it went off, did its own thing, and we think it's time to pick a name or create a name that more reflects that. Yeah. See, our, our, our wall is very much, you know, still alive and still very uh, Cthulhu-inspired. Why why mess with perfection? Yeah. We do need more wall things, though. But mm -hmm. since we intend to expand our reach, we might want to expand beyond the world of young adult paranormal romance, as that genre is kind of dead. Mm. But another thing this season we also wanted was not just to create a project, which obviously we will do because that's fun and people have fun with it, and hopefully keep better track of whose idea was what, because yeah. we were really bad about that. You know, it's said that to become a better writer you should read a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I think to prepare for writing the second book of Awoken, to really grow as writers ourselves, I think we need to delve deeper into the young adult genre uh, fiction. Well, not just young adult. I think since we'd been knocking around ideas for the sequel, a lot of those ideas were inspired by, um, you know, adult books like mm. Eat, Pray, Love, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about that one. You yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about uh, Awoken Book 2. Uh, which I think should be called Arisen. No, of course. <laughs> Next week. If you guys can come up with something better than Arisen. But we're pretty. Our hearts are pretty <laughs> set yeah, on Arisen. So, like, challenge accepted, but, like, <laughs> our hearts are really on it being book two title. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, th that's the thing with the YA trilogies, is, like, they're all, like, the th like divergent, was it, insurgent, <laughs> allegiant. You know, they're, like, all the same word, astringent. <laughs> <laughs> belligerent like it's all they're all the same word and frozen <laughs> frozen yeah no disney to it too. tangled tangled are you kidding me in fact her hair decidedly did not get tangled yeah, there was no point like, in that freaking movie like at least frozen like you know was in it like there's no tangling in tangled no. she has magic hair there's no tangling <laughs> it was pretty it was pretty fucking well conditioned that hair the idea is to make a shade book club um, with you giving us the suggestions of what should be on our reading list. Now, please don't throw us in just totally bad books. We'd like some variety. Yeah. While bad is fun, 
and, you know, ranting is fun. Uh, I feel like I'm more interested in what people like and what pe what people respond to emotionally, personally. Yeah. And also, like, who likes reading shitty books? Well, we do, apparently. Because yeah. we read so many bad books last year. I don't preparing know if for a like is the right <laughs> word. I feel like a shitty book kind of drains you more than a shitty movie. Yeah. It's more of a time. There's no 2012 for books. No. Except for maybe The Da Vinci Code. So for books that people are going to suggest to us, uh, they're, they're, we do have some restrictions. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, we can't have read them already because mm. we want we want our responses to feel fresh. Yes. The next uh, rule is that no uh, Game of Thrones length books. Um, we need to be able to knock this out in two weeks. Exactly. And that's that's a time yeah. frame. A two week, you suggest a book, two weeks we read it, we come back with uh, our review of it. So we got to keep it. What's what's the page counter? I don't know. <laughs> Game of Thrones is it's like three hundred some thousand words. Yeah. It's three Twilights. No, Dost Dostoevsky. Let's keep yeah. it in like your average bestseller range. Yeah. You know, something that won't make my eyes go cross. Hundred, hundred fifty thousand words. No tomes. Yeah. <laughs> no Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Because, you know, we're on a time frame. Yeah. As much as we like long books, but We do that frame. on our own time. Yeah. yeah. That's another great thing about young adult. <sighs> Short. Ah. <laughs> it needs to be a recent title. Mm. Within the last five years. I, I can't think of why we might make an exception, but maybe we will. Who knows? Yeah. And keeping it in the theme of our uh, show is that since we were inspired by uh, young adult and science fiction and fantasy, we probably want to stick to young adult science fiction and fantasy. Mm -hmm. Not just young adult. And also I feel like the lines between young adult and adult are getting blurred a lot more. Yeah. Um, trying to market something to broader audiences is much more popular. Although whenever I go into like the young adult section, you know, I'll go into the library yeah. and like check out a book that is in the, and then there are all these teenagers looking at me like, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I feel like Amy Poehler and like Mean Girls, I'm like, hey, what's up, <laughs> homies? <laughs> I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Yeah, someday I think we need to go to a mall. Like I went to the mall the other day and there were teenagers there. Oh. Which surprised me because I didn't know teenagers still went to the mall. I thought yeah. they just kind of stayed inside and play World of Warcraft. I went to the Queen Center Mall and it was full of teenagers. Yeah. It was like, they were all like talking about Divergent and I was like, they, they're real. <laughs> <laughs> we should like talk to them and see what they like now. Mm. I'm like, do you actually watch MTV? Cause someone has to. Yeah. Or, like, what do you like? We're so, anyway. so old. Yeah, no. I'm like, <laughs> it's weird to think that I'm in the same generation of these kids, you know? It's just like, technically, we're all millennials, but I'm just like, I have this old soul. I feel in I like, take one. antacids now. <laughs> Two. <laughs> For Arisen. Again, we have some ideas in, uh, inspired very much by uh, Eat, Pray, Love. Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> <laughs> because, of course. Of course, Cthulhu has to leave her. <laughs> of course. And uh, only this time, you know, she's not gonna, she already, well, I mean, she'll probably want to kill herself, but um, yeah. uh, she, she needs to go on an Eat, Pray, Love trip. Yeah. So about that show title. We originally titled the show and we thought the show was going to take a different direction than it mm -hmm. did. So knowing now that, um, you know, it is going to hinge almost entirely on the Cthulhu Lego Brick trilogy, but also on, um, an expanded uh, goal of exploring what is out there right now. Yeah. Try to avoid the Lovecraft or Cthulhu references. So, uh, if you have an idea for what our title c could be or should be. Something that screams, yeah. we're reading books. We're reading and books and we're effort. writing about uh, sexy Cthulhu. They're just so damn charming and quirky. Two ladies in beer, what else? Literary and drinky. And and we drink a lot, because yeah. cause again, with the Fifty Shades, you know, it was inspired by Anna's, uh, most of her calories being alcohol calories. Not that I would know Eat any fucking protein thing about that. <laughs> the leafy green kill you. <laughs> so welcome back to the uh, books and drinking show of indeterminate name, season two, rebranding Boogaloo. Uh, <laughs> We can't wait to get started in earnest on Awoken Book 2, Arisen. But uh, in the meanwhile, <laughs> leave your suggestions for stuff we should read in the comments. We will announce our selections on Twitter based on popularity of the thing suggested and uh, also if we are interested in it or not. We should probably keep track of our progress on Goodreads. 
Should, yeah, we should start. Ooh, we start a good, Goodreads account. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that. we just came up with an idea. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So we look forward to another season of interactive book written debauchery, as helped and enabled by you and booze and and also beer. Cheers. Thank you.